Hello, this is Devang from Parlin. Uh, I need help with one of my bathroom faucet that makes loud banging noise when, when we start it and the noise t keeps coming for about a minute. And I need to understand what is the problem, how do I fix it? Can you help me with that? Devon, I have a way that you can solve this problem and it'll happen pretty quickly. I want you to turn the main water valve off and then open every faucet in your home, including flushing all the toilets. When the water stops flowing, shut everything down and then slowly turn that main water valve back on. When you go to turn the valves back on, they're gonna spit and sputter. You may need to take the aerators off because it'll loosen some sediment. Ironically, you're adding air back into the system to eliminate the knocking. Trust me, it'll work. Hi Lou, Trisha from Hunterdon County. We built a beautiful patio about five years ago but cannot enjoy it because it's direct sun and as the sun moves at different angles, it's difficult to find shade. What would you recommend? Trisha, the obvious answer is some type of awning or umbrella, of course. These retractable awnings that you put on the side of the house are great. They're either motorized or you can crank them by hand. And if it gets too windy, they'll actually close by themselves, the motorized version. Or if you wanna do something a little more permanent and natural, what about planting a tree? Uh, you know, there's a bunch of fast growing trees that you could plant in the backyard to give you natural shade, depending on your layout there. You could do something like, oh, I don't know, a willow tree, which is one of my favorites, or a birch tree. Both are fast growing. It'll take a few years, but then you'll have natural shade and natural beauty. Here's a question from Lauren. We've noticed mold in our attic on the underside of our roof sheathing. We were told it was gonna dry up, but it's still there. Any suggestions on how to control this problem? Well, Lauren, the fact that you said you only see this during the summer months, that tells me you need an attic fan. That's something a roofing contractor can install to suck all that hot, moist air out of the attic area. In the meantime, I want you to get a product like Concrobium Mold Control, spray it on those areas where you see the mold. Get it nice and wet, let it dry. Then come back and hit it again, and it'll have residual value to kill that mold. But the key in all this, is the exhaust fan. Here's a question from Mark. What can be used to dump down the overflow tube of the toilet to clean the rust out of the toilet rim? Okay, Mark, I can see you're the type of guy that doesn't like a lot of extra steps. So I've got a couple of solutions for you. Huraclean is a packet that you're gonna rip open at night and pour into the tank and let it sit there. And when you flush it in the morning, it's gonna clean it all up and help keep the bowl clean as well. Then Wink makes this product here that's these small little hockey pucks you drop into the tank. Neither go down the overflow tube, but that will slowly dissolve and help keep the bowl clean as well. But every now and then, a little toilet brush action goes a long way. 